Welcome to Balkan Security Network Lecture, Excellence in European Project Development and Proposal Writing. I'm pleased to have this opportunity to share experience with you. And I'd like to thank to our hosts for organizing this splendid event. Now, the mission of the Balkan Security Network is to advance the quality of your proposals and hopefully the impact of your project. We've created a mixture of a balanced mixture of theoretical and background information that we're going to present and practical tools how to advance your success rate in writing project proposals. My name is Boško Nektarijevic and concerning my academic background, I've graduated at IFAM Business School in France, in Paris, a long time ago, 99. Uh, then I completed my MBA at Solway Business School at Brussels University, where I've lectured for several years, and concluded executive education at the Harvard University in the States. But what's more relevant for you is that I wrote my first project proposal a long time ago, as much as I can remember, in 1993 or 1994. Uh, successfully, though, it did not get fund. Uh, but I believe I progressed somewhat for the previous almost 20 years. And for the last 10 years, I've been professionally working with pretty much all the relevant actors in uh, what we call EU funding arena, like European Parliament, European Commission, um, Agency for Reconstruction, European Bank for, well, various banks for, for development, reconstruction, investment, and, and so on, as well as uh, quite a diverse range of stakeholders, organizations and project leaders coming from R&D, research and development sector, coming from NGO sector, business community, and governmental sector, to help them, to assist them, to advance their performance primarily, the quality and impact of their project initiatives. Only in the last two years, we worked with over 4,000 clients that yielded over uh, 30 or 40 projects. So BSN is a vibrant network that attracts and, and retains and excites exceptional people whom I had the privilege to work with and learn from, from in, in this field. And I'm pleased to invite Professor Steve Quarry to introduce himself. Many thanks, Boshko. Good morning, everyone. My name is Steve Quarry. As you can tell, I'm not a businessman. I am a scientist. I am a scientist with complementary skills to those that Boschko has been telling you about. Now, if, if you look at the information here, it says a research career of 45 years. And now uh, you can do some calculations and you'll get some uh, approximate idea of how old I am. I'm not going to tell you, you, you can guess. Um, but it does mean that I have had many years experience of research. And for research you need money. You need money in the form of uh, projects. 
to carry out. Because where I used to work in the UK, without any funding for projects, there was little work to do. So I have had a life doing research, but I've had to learn how to write project proposals to be able to get the funding to do that research. So that's the starting point. 45 years experience of doing research and writing project proposals. Now, for several years, I was actually employed by the former Ministry of Science and Technological Development here in Serbia. I was the director of a bureau that was specifically set up by one of the former ministers to provide support to, to scientists in Serbia to help them to improve their success rate at getting project proposals. So, that is one of the, the major opportunities that I had for developing my skills specifically in the form of understanding the philosophy of what was required for writing successful project proposals. Now, I've also been, it says, former visiting professor at Newcastle University where I was providing skills to support student supervision it says former, but yesterday I had an email from a friend at the university who says that it's just been signed by the provost for me to have another visiting professorship. And this time, although I am actually a biologist, this time I shall be a visiting professor in the business school of Newcastle University. What I shall do there, I, I really have no idea. But uh, for some reason, they think I could be useful for them. Maybe I should be writing project <coughs> proposals. At the moment, I'm a guest professor at the Faculty of Biology at Belgrade University. And I teach, I teach PhD students, first year PhD students. Uh, my first lectures were yesterday, 4 hours, 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. on a Friday afternoon. Isn't that wonderful? Um, and the subject of my lectures is skills for doing research. So I actually teach a range of generic skills, soft skills, transferable skills, and amongst those skills are skills in how to succeed at writing project proposals. So in about three or four weeks' time, I should be giving my PhD students the same sort of information that we have squeezed in to two hours for you today. Training scientists in writing project proposals since 2003. I gave my first training course on this in 2003, which is now 10 years ago. And my major expertise, because of my research background, has been in Framework Programme 7. I have written several project proposals in Framework Programme 7, and I've had uh, one funded so far, a second one we're expecting to start negotiations this year. I have also taken part in previous framework program projects. So I have at the moment something like a 40% success rate at writing project proposals for FP7, which is considerably higher than average. The average success rate is between 12 and 15%. So Box Security Network had designed methodology uh, elaborated in detail in BSN Guide for Project Development and Proposal Writing. To understand from the very beginning that, or whether the project is worth doing, that the best of team talents are used in the design process, and that stakeholders will be impressed by the results. But it's very effective, very effective, to adjust project application form among the documents that you collected and within any call for proposal. One of the documents that, that's given is called project application form. That's that form that you need to fulfill and then submit to the commission. So, you use it as a template. 
you adjust it in such a way to add in it evaluation criteria. Remember, I mentioned that the European Commission is obliged to give you evaluation criteria. So what you do, basically, you create a Word document and you put headings from application form and if they provide within the guidelines for applicants some additional guidelines, you can also copy them there. And then, right after the titles, you insert evaluation criteria. Answer evaluators' questions using statements, sentences from project environment folder to overcome the language barrier. Address all relevant points from work programs, because uh, they are a step behind, of guidelines for applicants. Within the work programs, you will find the answer to the question, why had the commission created that call? And educate evaluators in a simply and easy to understand language. How do we do that? I'll make a brief example and uh, leave some time to Steve to explain to you what excellence in project proposal writing means. There's an example of ICT policy objective. It was on their website, European Commission website, until two, two weeks ago. It goes something like blah, 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 blah. And then we must all be able to obtain the skills needed to live and work in the information age. Right. Now, example of how do you make adjustments and use this sentence within your project proposal is during the second year of the project, 120 experts will be trained in blah, 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 and obtain the skills needed to live and work in the information age. And then you say, this will clearly contribute to achieve the first EU policy, ICT policy objective. So it's clear. And then you put small asterisks here. And then in the footer, you can quote, this is the first ICT policy objective. It's undeniable that we are contributing to its implementation. The recommendations, suggestions that I'd like to leave you with are educate evaluators in simple and easy to understand language using references from background documentation. Next, answer evaluator questions and make sure you understand assessment criteria before you start writing. This is where project background document helps a lot because it keeps you focused on answering evaluators questions. Provide just enough details needs analysis, activity description, and impact analysis. Provide measurable evidence for your claims from credible info sources, and this is where your project environment folder will help you. Make sure to respect causality principle and directly interconnect why, what, how, and so on. There should be nothing more and nothing less in your project proposal. And make sure to be consistent in all parts of the project. And if you don't have available some of the experts, you can always address Steve, me, and BSN experts. And there are other structures for pre-evaluation. You can give uh, your project proposal to your wife, uh, husband, girlfriend, and at least you'll save that relationship because they understand why you had been under such stress in the last it's few a long months. Process. It will take you several years to become skilled and expert in writing project proposals. But you've got to start from somewhere. So now that you've got the information, now's your chance to go away and think about the opportunities, opportunities that could be available for you. As Boschko has said, we are both available to discuss any ideas that you may want because although it starts with an idea, converting the idea into a successful proposal requires a lot of effort, a lot of time and a lot of skill and expertise. So we would be happy to stay in touch 
And I would like to thank you all for coming. Thanks.